The AMX-30 main battle tank, MBT, emerged as a product of post-World War II European military innovation, a time when many nations were rethinking and upgrading their armored vehicle fleets. With outdated tank designs still in service, particularly the American-made M47 Patton, France sought a new solution that would offer better firepower without the excessive weight of many modern tanks. This ambition led to a collaborative design effort between France, West Germany, and Italy, aimed at creating a tank similar to the Patton but with enhanced capabilities. However, while the initial effort was a three-way venture, the collaboration eventually split, with France and West Germany opting to develop their own respective tanks. The West Germans produced the Leopard 1, while France designed the AMX-30. At the heart of the AMX-30 is its CH-105 F1 105mm main gun, mounted on a three-man turret. This cannon, with a muzzle velocity of 3,280 feet per second, gave the tank considerable firepower, capable of piercing up to 15 inches of enemy armor. One notable limitation, however, is that the AMX-30 lacks a gun stabilization system, meaning the tank cannot accurately fire its main gun while on the move, a significant disadvantage compared to other MBTs. An innovative design feature of the AMX-30 is the inclusion of a 20mm cannon mounted coaxially in the turret, which can be elevated separately from the main gun, offering additional flexibility in combat. For further defense against infantry and low-flying aircraft, the turret is equipped with a 7.62mm machine gun. The tank's mobility is supported by a set of five road wheels per track side and powered by a Hispano Suiza 12-cylinder diesel engine delivering 720 horsepower. This combination provides the AMX-30 with respectable maneuverability, though its relatively light armor means that protection was sacrificed in favor of speed and firepower. The tank can carry a significant amount of ammunition, with storage for 47 rounds of 105mm shells, over 1,000 rounds of 20mm ammunition, and more than 2,000 rounds for the 7.62mm machine gun, ensuring sustained combat capability. The AMX-30 entered full-scale production in 1966 and remained in production for an impressive 27 years, reflecting its enduring appeal and versatility. Over 3,500 units were produced during this period. Its export success was particularly notable, with many Middle Eastern countries becoming key customers. The tank's balance of firepower, mobility, and relatively low weight made it a popular choice for nations looking for a capable MBT without the logistical burdens of heavier, more complex tanks. The chassis of the AMX-30 also proved to be adaptable for other military uses. One prominent example is the 155mm GCT self-propelled gun system, which was developed using the AMX-30's chassis, further extending the platform's operational life and versatility. The AMX-30 stands as a testament to post-war European tank innovation, striking a balance between firepower and mobility while addressing the need for a modern MBT. Although its lack of advanced features like gun stabilization limited its effectiveness in certain combat scenarios, its export success and the wide range of variants it spawned reflect the tank's value to many nations. The AMX-30 remains an important part of France's military legacy, contributing to the development of modern armored warfare strategies in the latter half of the 20th century.